All right. Oh, all right, safe, good. Hey, that is called pushing the limits. You push it as far as you could. I'm okay with it. But remember, you get doubled off right there, you're going to the beach. Okay, just know the rules. We were very lucky. Uh, we started a campaign in 2012 that was called the Dreamfield Campaign and we sent a, a flyer out in, into the community um, just outlining what we wanted. We wanted a stadium seating, sunken dugouts, the whole thing. We modeled uh, the Yankee Stadium uh, Monument Park um, and we have our, our Hall of Fame inductees, our college commit board over here where everyone who has gone on to play college baseball is recognized on our college board. Um, you know, and that goes with our banners that are our seniors who have committed to uh, college baseball programs. Uh, we honor them with a banner that hangs for an entire year. And it's fun to come to work every single day to this place. Uh, I mean, we're truly blessed. I mean, they've put in so much dedication and so many hours to making this field as well as us. But the coaches really, they put in a lot of time and effort away from their families to make sure that this is a playable place. It's awesome. It's a great atmosphere and we have a, we have a great uh, fan base and, you know, the field Field's beautiful and have stadium seating is feeling like you're playing in a major league field. There you go. Go ahead and practice throwing to second base. Are you a glutton for punishment? Like, do you want to get yelled at? Okay, why'd you cut it? Okay, I like it. You don't need to yell at me. <laughs> Coach Madur. Um, I'd say crazy, but a good crazy. Did you call me crazy in your interview? I did. What, why? Like how am, crazy, I, how am I crazy? Cutting. Explain to me that. You have to be crazy to work with these knuckleheads. Not once you could say Madur is not on you. Oh my gosh. Hey, Scoreheim, what is that, a smash ball paddle or a glove? Let's go, man. Hey, Dag's right on cue, right? Hit the ball on the ground, pop it straight up in the air. Good feeds. Pitchers, good job. Good feeds. Good feeds. And that's all it takes is one compliment. Here goes the sale job. All right, nice. At this point, we see him almost as much as we see our parents. He's like, he's like a father to us. And he's just, he's yelling. He's just, he has so much energy. It's great to play like a guy, for a guy like this. So these are the things, Joe, that you have to be aware of in a baseball game. So you could actually get a little further off or shut it down. Tough day, Joe. Tough day. Coach Madur, he really, he really cares more about the be, being a better person than a better ball player. And I think any coach that prioritizes that is, is a very good coach. He uh, keeps us accountable of playing the game right. And uh, he, he turns everyone into a captain, teaches you how to play the game right. And uh, he's just a really good fundamental coach. Actually, Coach Murphy from Cyprus, the old head coach at Newport Harbor, came up with this drill, he introduced it to me. It's just a good way of getting everyone a lot of fun. It's just a good way to get a lot of work in in a little amount of time. And it's just kind of fun to see pitchers out here taking ground balls, pretending that they're, they're athletes, even though we know they're not. Uh, we'll start with Josh Hahn, uh, left-handed pitcher, going to UCLA next year, he's a senior. Um, at, at this point right now, he has 20 scoreless innings on the mound. He has hit five home runs in 10 games. Um, he is our offensive and defensive leader. When I'm at first, I'm going to try being the best captain I can and lead our team offensively and defensively. Cole Monado, he's our shortstop. He's going to Gonzaga next year. Um, when you see him, you'd think, really, this kid's one of your, uh, one of your top guys, and then you watch him play and, and you realize that uh, he plays unbelievable defense. Uh, just one of those guys that just scraps and fights for everything and, and is a great leader for us. I always try to put a good at-bat up, put a quality at-bat, try to see as many pitches as I can and find any way I can get on base. Uh, Jake Vogel, he's our center fielder. He's a junior. Uh, he's going to UCLA. Um, just totally electric player. Um, he can hit for power, he can hit for average, he can steal a base, he can run down anything in the outfield. He's a truly a five-tool player. 
Um, and the good news is that we have them for one more year next year. What would you like people to say about you? Uh, leads the team in a positive way. He gets on kids when they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing and he's very positive. Brett Barrera, he's a transfer from Los Osos. He's going to Stanford next year. Um, he is a gigantic second baseman uh, that hits, to, hits for power to all fields, very smooth fielder. Everyone has just taken to Brett as one of our leaders and that's pretty significant for a transfer to come in and be one of the leaders on the team that has a lot of seniors on it. Playing second base, it's a pretty important infield spot. I'll make the routine plays, I'll make the make the fun plays, and then I hit fourth in the lineup, so I'm just there to hit balls hard. Eddie Pelk, uh, he's a left-handed pitcher. He's going to University of San Diego. Um, he's, he usually plays the outfield. He has a hurt hand right now, so he can't swing. Uh, but Edward is, um, is our emotional leader. You'll hear him yelling and screaming and calling everybody together in between innings and uh, uh, firing people up. I think pitching-wise, uh, my biggest strength is I'm able to locate multiple pitches, uh, multiple breaking balls, and uh, I have a really uh, fiery attitude when I'm on the mound, a uh, big competitor.